What's going on guys? My name is Todd with the Dividend Star King. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking about what is a dividend investing a stake which causes people a lot of money. What is the dividend investing mistake? Um, well, I can talk from experience and before I even begin, I'm not giving financial advice. I'm not giving no stock advice. You do what you want to do in the stock market by your own risk and that's probably one of the reasons why people make mistakes in the stock market because they don't do their research the, the one thing people don't do is their research they don't know what they're investing in they go for dividend high dividend yields the crazy dividend amounts and uh and it's just it's, it's not worth it i give you a prime example um on my stocks here you see clm and crf the, the web browser, uh, the web version of Robinhood is horrendous. CLM and CRF played a very high dividend. I mean, they paid like 19 cents a share. And I was buying enough shares to get me, you know, uh, you know $20, $10 a month. Um, but the dividend yield is super high, it's like 18%. So uh, I think a few months ago, maybe five, like five months ago, they cut the dividend from 19 cent to 16 cent. And I knew they was going to cut it because the dividend yield is too high. It's just too high to maintain that dividend payment. It's just too high. And the stock cost don't cost but 12 bucks. It was just too high. Um, so people um, don't do the research. They, they, and they put all their eggs in one basket. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. You got to diversify. I knew that my portfolio, when a stock takes a hit, my other stocks will be fine. I got a few, a few ETFs, um, and people don't do their homework. People, people only invest in one sector or one stock. That You cannot do that in the stock market. You have to be diverse, diverse, diverse. You need other stocks to make you money, you know, passive income for you in dividends. Um, you, people look at high yields, don't do the research, and they don't Buy enough shares because they 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 don't want to buy. They're cheap. You know, the cheapest stocks ain't the best stocks. They're just not. The cheapest stocks ain't the best stocks. To be quite honest with you, so you might have to spend a little money to get a decent stock. And look at the five year trend. Look at the five year trend. How's it going? Is it steadily going up? You know, is it it's it's it going down like you know a, a elevator going down? So those are things you have to look at when it comes to dividend investing. You have to find a company, look at the history, go to YouTube, look at videos, type that stock ticket in, and let other people tell you their their experience. Like I do in my videos, I have experience with different stocks. And also, what I like to do with people, they tell you, look, I had a stock for two years, and it paid me a dividend every month. So I'm confident in keep buying because it pays me on time. So sometimes experience pays best for learning. So you so with investing in dividend paying stocks, you will make mistakes. You might you might you may make mistakes, but that's okay. And I've been doing it for a year straight, and I'm still learning. I'm still trying to find better companies to invest in, and and see how they work. So the biggest thing you have to get experience. You have to do your research. You have to do your homework on these stocks. Um, you have to take your time. You have to, um, I say, you got to um, research. That's pretty much research. Don't fall for a dividend yield trap. Don't buy these two, three dollar stocks. They they pay ten cents a month, and they're two, three dollars, and they cut their dividend in half. Uh, be diversified as much as you can. Different sectors. Um, like oil and gas, renewable energy, uh, electronic vehicles, uh, finance companies, real estate. You want to diversify as much as you can because some sectors might take a hit while other sectors might be well off. So that's my biggest thing. Um, if they cut a dividend, uh, find out why, okay? Find out why. And what you should do is maybe once every week or two weeks, go to every company and Google their name and see any news coming up. This is why I love the Weibo app, because the Weibo, I can just type in the ticker symbol and I can always just look at the news right from my phone. I can glance at it for like 
five, 10 minutes per share. So that's what I do. I use we I use Robinhood, but I also use Webull as well. And I suggest you get Webull and Robinhood because Webull has all the information you need about the stock, the news, and people can write their comments on there as well. So use I ha I'll have a link to Webull and Robinhood. Uh, you check those both of those out. You I use Webull for all my information. So every, maybe once some maybe like once every two weeks. I click on DX here and see if any news pop up, any bad news or good news, and I'll, I might go online and see what the, how the company is doing as a whole. But keep make sure these businesses you you are part owners of these businesses. You are a part owner of these businesses. You can't just buy it and don't worry about it. You gotta check in once in a while, make sure everybody's good, make sure everything's going smooth. So you are part owner of the business. You make sure that you look at what's going on and you you. And you do your research. Money time for SKN.com. Thanks for watching.